Hello, Dad. This is Jay Warren. This is the Dadhood Journey Podcast. And today's topic is this. What should Danny do? A choose-your-own-adventure story. Let's do it. Hi, my name's Nico, and you're listening to my dad, Jay Warren. This is the Dadhood Journey Podcast. Thanks for listening. All right, Dad, so I just got this book. Actually, I shouldn't say that. Nico just got this book. It was a gift from his Uncle Christopher and his Auntie Gina, an early birthday um, present, very early. Um, My brother was out visiting last week and brought it along, and Chris just said, hey, I'll give it to him now. He can enjoy it, and it's it's a book. It's called What Should Danny Do, and it's written by... Oh, man, I'm going to get this really wrong. Gennett and Adir Levy. I don't recognize those kind of names, so I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. But it is what I would call a choose-your-own-adventure story. And it is so great, one, for Nico, but two, as a dad and as a parent. And I'm going to explain why. So first, the story is it's a little boy, obviously named Danny who has superpowers, at least he believes so. And one of the superpowers that he's working on, and this book is called School Day. It's a follow-up to another one, I think the first book. And he is working with his superpower of the power to choose. And so the whole book is about making choices. And it harkens back to when I was a kid, a little older than Nico, but when I was reading, there were what were called choose-your-own-adventure stories. We would read a couple pages, it had a theme, and at the end of it, it more complex than this, but it's like, should the character go left or go right? Left, go to page 22. Go right, go to page 32. And then based on that choice, you go off onto a different page and the story would change. And so this, in a little kid sense, is the same. You're choosing the story. So it says it has eight stories in one. But it's a really, really good way of kids looking at learning consequences for the choices you make. So this, the context of this story for Nico is appropriate because it's about a school day and Nico's starting kindergarten shortly. And so that's a big thing we're all working on in a kindergarten prep emotionally and just knowing what's going on. But so the story starts off with Danny pretending he's a superhero, trying to get away from the bad guy in his room. And then he hears his mom calling, say, Danny, it's time to get ready for school. And Danny goes, oh, man, I was in the middle of trying to get escape from this whole thing. Dot, dot, dot. What should Danny do? Should Danny keep playing? Turn to page 34. Should Danny clean up and go downstairs and get ready for school? Turn to page 22. And so it goes on and on. So the better choices, what we would deem as better choices of going to school. And if at lunch he sees somebody sad singing alone, do you ignore that? Or do you go ask that friend how he's feeling? Or if somebody pushes you in line, should you dot, 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 and has all these consequences and um, aspects of the story. So it's really cool on the kids level Uh, the first level for the kids to go through the story and based on the choices it's going to be a different story so you keep going back and you see like the consequences good consequences bad consequences that's great for Nico and he enjoys it but for me as a dad as a parent doesn't even have to be a dad but obviously I'm a dad so moms could do this too reading this book to your kid allows you to sit back and let them make that won their own choice and in a safe way let them make bad choices so i found as i was reading this book to him for the first time a couple of nights ago me wanting to jump in when he's when say it was first thing in the morning do you ignore mom and keep playing or do you get ready for school and the first choice first choice he made was i want to keep playing so he turned to page whatever it was and He's then late for school. He misses the bus. Dad has to drive him to school. Dad's not happy about it. 
he's late, so he misses his um, share day and doesn't get to um, share his thing. And then recess goes poorly for some reason. But then at recess, something happens and you can make a better choice. But so when I'm reading that and he decides to ignore mom and keep playing, part of me wanted to jump in and be like, are you sure you want to do that? Because blah, 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 and do it as like a teaching thing. And I didn't do that because the point of the book is to show is to demonstrate those kind of things. Right. So he then saw that if he was late to school, all these things happened that were bad, quote bad. So then the next time he read the book, he made a different choice and he made a better choice, in my opinion, of <laughs> listening to mom, getting ready for school, getting there, having a cool time sharing his tarantula with um, all the kids at um, at school. So it was, I, I really found myself, um, I don't want to say struggling. It wasn't that big a deal, but I really wanted to jump in and teach him and say, no, that's not the best choice. This would be a good choice. But by having read now the book a number of times, he knows like the good choice to make. And Nico in general, like is kind of a, a kid that, you know, does the right thing and he doesn't maybe don't want to do it, but he kind of knows that's the right thing he's supposed to do. But it's a really safe environment to be reading a story and make this kid do these choices and see what happens there rather than the repercussions, the negative consequences coming down on him or on our interaction between uh, dad and me. So twofold great teachings of choices and consequences and rewards one for the kiddo because they're making it and they're guiding this little kid around with superheroes and he gets to just see what's happening to this kid without having to uh, experience it himself by being late to school and getting in trouble and all those kind of things but then also a cool experience for you potentially as a dad to be able to let your kid make a quote a mistake and in this case it's the best possible one right because the con the we're reading a story <laughs> and it's not that big a deal but it's also practice for as your kids getting older and these kind of seemingly important decisions that in the scheme of things really aren't allowing or being in the space as your as the parent to allow them to make their choices i mean obviously you're not going to allow them to choose to run across the freeway right um but we're talking about other choices that you know are relatively innocuous and aren't going to be that big a deal but you then can use them as teaching moments so that they learn how to make good choices and or they learn that there are consequences to your choices good and bad and that's something that uh, I remember uh, a dad I was listening to him talking about how he had it set up with his boys he happened to have only boys that they could come to him no matter what if they told him the truth they wouldn't get in trouble for anything that they had done and he was getting flack from some of the other dads in this group because should be teaching consequences shouldn't be able to get out of it and he put it back in the context of like all right my boys are young like they're in kindergarten first and second grades like the choices they're making like are not life and death they're not big deals but I want my boys to learn that they can come to me no matter what happens and I'm going to help them and I'm going to support them even if I'm going to be mad, even if they will get in trouble later on. Like if they decide to like ditch school over and over again, there's going to be consequences to that. That's when they're older. We're talking about like little consequences of like not sharing with um, the kid or something like that, that then it would build trust so that later on in life when they are making big decisions or confronted with big decisions, drinking and driving, doing drugs, having sex, all those kind of like majors that you want your kids to be able to come to you and get advice and guidance from, you're setting that up earlier on by 
one in this case, the latter part I was just talking about, about this dad saying that you could come to me and you'll never get in trouble if you tell me the truth. And I hear it from you. If you don't tell me the truth and or I find out later what actually happened, then you're going to be in trouble um, was the deal that he had with his boys. But then also going back even earlier to like my son and this book that I'm reading, like it's all about teaching him the the effects about consequences teaching about consequences and about the power of choice like you get to choose you choose your own experience and that's something that i've been trying as best as i can to help him understand that like you're choosing to be upset you're choosing to be in a happy mood you're choosing this because of the actions that you're making and this can all be like a bedtime story thing so Kudos to my brother and my sister-in-law finding this book. Apparently, it's like an Amazon number one seller type of thing. I've never come across it, but I'm glad that uh, um, Chris and Gina sent that over. So thank you to uh, um, Uncle and Auntie. And I wanted to pass it along to you. I don't have any kind of, um, you know, uh, financial gain by telling you to get this book and I don't have any kind of um, say in that. It's more of, it's just a good book that can be a really good teaching tool um, for you and your kid to learn about consequences. So go check it out. Again, it's a What Should Danny Do? Uh, this one is a school day experience um, by Ganita Nadir Levy, L-E-V-Y is their last name. So go check it out. Hope that helps and let me know uh, what you think of it. I'd love to hear. So until next time, Dad, I will connect with you on the next episode, but until that time, take good care of yourself take good care of your family and we'll connect on the next episode thanks for listening to that episode guess what my dad just formed a new thing it's called a slack group what's that I don't know you can find more about it join if you go to thedadhoodjourney.com See you there. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.